So morning everybody, I just thought I'd pop on here quick today and I wanted to share with you some things I'm doing with text. So uh, on my paintings I'm often trying to incorporate some sort of written stories about the subject matter and over time I've used old books uh, and printed materials and for my landscape work that I'm currently developing I thought I'd explore just trying to use quite a lot more of my own uh, writing and homemade uh, text and combine that with some of the um, uh, vintage books that I'm, I'm finding about the landscapes I'm exploring. Uh, and also maybe some other sort of printed material like old maps. Um, so I'm going to turn the camera around and I'm going to share with you what I've been up to, just exploring some different papers and some different ways of creating the text and you can see what you think. Okay, so hopefully you can see everything I've got on the desk and I'll try and bring it into view as I'm talking about it. So I've been using um, two different really types of paper, some cheap, and I'll show you the roll, some cheap... Um, print paper, sugar paper um, that I've been using um, and sometimes I have tried painting it with white acrylic paint and sometimes I haven't um, and then I've been using this um, rice uh, paper as well so I'll just show you what I've been up to so I have tried a number of different techniques so on this sheet here um, I have tried so I've painted this paper white and then I've painted it with either the uh, indigo paint or the um, yellow ochre paint and you need to paint it um, quite thinly as I found out because that is far too thick and so that didn't really work very well. Um, so I then painted it a lot thinner and that worked a lot better. So I quite like this. So you, you literally, the way you do it is you dry the white paint off, then you paint the top layer on and then I just scratched into it either with a twig or a stick or um, with uh, something like this. So nothing um, very, you know, sort of dramatic, just either a, um, this um, palette knife here or just a, a piece of the heather. Um, and you get these quite nice effects. So I quite, I'm quite liking that. And then I just tried um, using uh, inks, um, which actually again works really well. Um, and what I've been using is a mixture of different types of inks actually. So I've been using a documents ink, which is waterproof and it's the stuff I fill my panting pens with. So I had that to hand, so I've been trying that and that's worked quite well. Uh, I've been trying acrylic inks and this is a, a mixed acrylic ink that I've created, so that works quite well as well. And then I've been trying the walnut ink here. Um, and so what you see, oops, uh, what you see here is actually the, the walnut, the brown, the walnut ink there. Um, and that's one of the darker blue ink. Um, so that's, those are quite interesting. Um, and then what I did was I started to do um, more lettering and trying just practicing different um, approaches to it, either printing it in capital letters, hopefully you can see that, um, or using it in a much more, so I've been using a bamboo uh, stick as well, and then you can be quite spidery and sort of um, just sort of twirly and twisty with the, with the things. And so that's what I've been using to create that there. Um, and uh, more so here with the inks that I've just described. And I kind of, the jury's still out really on whether I like it on the painted paper. I'll show you in a minute on the non-painted paper. And I think that works just as well, if not better. Um, I've also tried some stenciling um, and I tried different paints. I've tried a golden that's a liquid, so it's quite thin. I've tried a tube paint, which is much thicker. And I've tried using the inks and that kind of doesn't work at all. So what you find is that <coughs> The thinner it is, the more difficult it becomes because it seeps underneath. So I've been using these stencils and it seeps underneath. So you need to be quite careful. And I've been using a stencil brush as well um, to dab, th dab in. And I found that the thicker the paint, paint, the better. And I kind of don't mind that. I don't know that I kind of like the colours so much. And I'll show you some. And I've used smaller stencils as well. I quite like combining the different size letters. Uh, you get more of a kind of an interesting effect if you do that and turning them round and so on. So that's just me showing uh, those. Um, so then with the rice paper and with the unpainted papers, let me just show you with the unpainted papers. So this one here is the rice paper 
and what I really liked here was you get it does bleed a little bit so that that was me trying to use a stencil with ink with liquid ink and uh, this rice paper and of course it doesn't work at all with a paint it works a lot better and with the uh, writing with the text is quite nice on this paper you get a little bit of bleeding because it's quite it, it moves quite quickly the ink into the into the paper fibers um, and that's it there but I quite like that um, that's me using the the, uh, the purple ink and a sort of slightly different more looser approach so this in contrast is using that um, cheap sugary paper again not painted first but just used and I quite like that again but it doesn't bleed to the same extent but I quite like that um, and this is using the stencil again so that works okay on on there as well I'm just I'm using thick paint now with the black and then I wanted to just show you this so this one is instead of using the scraffitio or the handwriting i've tried something different here which is to use wax resist and what that is is using um a, a quite a crayon so this is a crayola just a cheap white crayon that you write on the paper first it didn't i tried painting the paper that didn't really work so if you look at this half of the paper um i write on it first with this and then I've tried this before and didn't quite like it with watercolours because it almost seems too kind of wishy-washy. So I tried using the inks and it kind of works quite well. And I think it works well with the walnut ink particularly because it's a bit lighter and more watery. It's not quite so clear with the dark blue and I quite like it when you combine the blue and the black together um, so that it's not so uh, dark that it doesn't show the the white through but it does it quite well with the with the inks over the um crayon so that's like a wax resist didn't work at all when i tried it over the painted so i don't know whether it was not dry properly or whatever but that's that's the sort of effect and then the last thing to show you is i have an old vintage typewriter here i hope you can see that it's a royal and i did clean it up at one point but it is quite old and battered and i've changed the ribbon but I've actually just been playing around, just using, just typing with it a little bit and trying to see whether or not that would give me some nice effects as well. And it does because it contrasts quite nicely and it's a bit like the old printed books using the old typesets. Um, so I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, come off here now and then I'm going to cut them all up and see what I can do to combine them all together and see how they... Okay, so I've started to cut some of the different ones, different um, papers I was sharing with you before. Um, so I've cut some up and I'm just going to rearrange them, arrange them. I'm, when I have rearranged them, I'm just going to use a gel medium of sorts, a gloss or a matte medium to stick them down. Um, and all I'm doing is um, arranging them just to sort of show the kind of combination, how the lettering can work uh, in combination and how that can be quite interesting. Um, I wouldn't usually necessarily be creating whole images. My paintings aren't all made up of written text. So usually I'm using them um, in parts of the, of the image and you see little bits um, peeking through underneath the paint. So, um, but I'm just looking at them now as a way of saying how do these work together and do they work together um, better in combination, which they probably do because you get the contrast. So all I'm doing is... Um, having a bit of a play with that really and, and sharing that with you so um, you can see here how hopefully um, how that kind of combination of the text works um, and I quite like so they kind of pick up so you've got the the colors picking up but they're very differently uh, in court, uh, created so you've got all that text there and then the big letters there and then you know, it's sort of, um, it's quite interesting, the kind of variations. And so that's all I'm doing, really. Um, and I do quite like that. So say, for example, maybe, maybe I tear some of them so it's not all very pristine. I think that needs now more variety because it's looking too samey because that is too like that. So in reality, you might not want it like that. 
so this is quite so again you've got that and you might want to pick some more up so anyway it's just sort of uh, showing you how you can kind of just combine them together and how they can kind of um, be used and usually you know you'd you'd as I say you'd incorporate different pieces into a into a painting but it's just not it's just interesting seeing them together now in this way um, and how that kind of works and I quite like the idea of covering the whole paper but on the other hand I quite like the white space so probably won't do that and some of, the, some of it can be torn and again you're getting a variety there And of course, sometimes, you know, you can put the lettering in different ways, that works. So sometimes up there, sometimes across, and that's quite nice. Um, so it's just playing around, seeing the variety you can get and how that can create interesting compositions. Um, and what I'll do is I'll create a few and then I'll share them with you at the end. I'm just wanting to show, show you the sort of thought process. So just literally chopping them up as you will and then um, seeing how they might look and whether or not it kind of works for you and if not how do you improve that <laughs> 